I'm Bruce Starling. I'm the visionary in residence here at Art Center College of Design. We had a uh, special project here at Art Center on uh, augmented reality. It was called Reality Augmented. It mixes the virtual and the actual. It's interactive in real time and it registers in three dimensions. Our class here at Art Center is a doing class. People who are working with Hopla and with Layart or you know, really do apps. I, mean, I wanted people to be able to leave the class saying they can augment reality. And you know, to learn by doing is very important in a situation like this. Every student project in this class is based around some psychographic. It's all people first and user centric. So it's like, who is the user? What do they want? What makes them happy? What pleases them? I mean, every time the class is open, we've had some kind of news break describing how things have changed since even last week. And you know, just trying to coach the students and keeping track of new developments, new functionalities. I mean, even since the class began, Layar has rolled out version 6.0 of their platform, which has like a, you know, extensive new sets of features. So, you know, I'm trying to train them to like run as fast as they can, and Guillaume's training them to think in terms of users. Such a emerging field that there's a lot of room for discovery, so all you got to do is really kind of dive in, and if you have a love for um, you know, visual or emotional experiences, then um, augmented reality is a, is a great place to do that. Augmented reality can change the human condition. It's an excellent field to jump into and experience, so take the class. <laughs> augmented reality is the future. Augmented reality is actually in the artistic phase. It's in the phase where a lot of the most effective players are basically designers. The best AR efforts are coming out of small groups of three, four, 12 people. You know, augmented reality is something that's been background noise for about 30 years. And it's finally stepping out of the lab and into the world. I, I don't, I was one of the first people to do this. I very much doubt I will be the last.